in this video we will show you how to use the LiDAR Cube 240. The LiDAR Cube comes in a protected Peli case. Remove the red transport cover. Now you can remove the payload and insert it into the main body of your UAV. Remove the DLS cap and place the antenna in the holder. You can simply click the antenna cable into the holder. Now insert the battery. The lighter will start up. This could take up to three minutes. When all the LEDs light up green, the system receives SFAS corrections at optimal accuracy. The green LED light indicates power, while the orange log light indicates there will be 30 gigabytes available on the USB stick. If the log light is red, then there is less than one gigabyte of free space on the USB stick and recording is not recommended. To start recording, press the blue button. When the log LED light flashes once per second, the LiDAR scanner records the data. With the cube, a maximum flight time of about 60 minutes can be achieved. Please note that the wind tolerance during hover is limited to 6 meters per second for LiDAR operation. After landing, the LiDAR will continue to record the data. To stop recording, Press the blue button again. Now the lighter will copy the recorded data to the USB stick. The time needed varies depending on the mission. When all three lights are green, the copying process is finished and you can switch off the lighter. Press and hold the blue button for three seconds. Only when the power LED is still lit, you can remove the battery from the Trinity. Remove the antenna first and then take out the payload from the main body. All data is now stored in the USB drive. It is important that you only use the USB stick provided with the Cube 240.